actress Heather North famed as the voice of Daphne on the Scooby-Doo cartoons has died at the age of 71 after losing her battle with a long illness. She passed away surrounded by her family on November 30 at her home in Studio City, California. North voiced the danger-prone sleuth in the Hanna-Barbera series solidly between 1970 and 1986, before returning to the role over the years. North Hollywood's first Christian church, which will hold a memorial service for the actress, confirmed her death. The star first voiced Daphne in 1970 during the second season of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?, having replaced Steve and Anna Christofferson. In 1972 and 1973 she worked on the new Scooby-Doo movies. North continued to voice Daphne through the mini spin-offs and specials, like Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood in 1979 and the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries in 1984. Her last Scooby-Doo job was in 2003 with Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. Also on the cult show was Casey Kasem as Shaggy, Nicole Jaffe as Velma, Don Messick as Scooby-Doo and Frank Welker as Fred. North also starred in several movies. In 1965, she played Elaine in the family drama Git. And two years later she had a role in The Fugitive. North didn't venture far from Hollywood, having been born in December 13, 1945 in Pasadena, California. She played Kurt Russell's romantic partner in Disney's 1971 feature The Barefoot Executive. That film was about a chimpanzee that could tell which TV shows would be a hit and which would not. She also stood out in the beach movie Gidget. North was married to H. Wesley Kenny, after the pair met on the set of Days of Our Lives. He was an Emmy-winning soap opera director who died in January 2015. She passed away on November 30 surrounded by family, her friend Jody Mann told The Hollywood Reporter. She is survived by her son Kevin and daughter-in-law Stephanie, stepdaughter Nina and her husband Brent. Stepson Wes and his wife Leslie and granddaughter Jocelyn. Another stepdaughter, Kara, died just a week ago. A memorial service is set for 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday at First Christian Church in Studio City.